Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Before you replace the left side steering link on your riding mower, make sure the engine has cooled. The ignition switch is in the off position and the key has been removed. We recommend performing this procedure with little or no fuel in the tank. Now lift up the hood and use a 3 8 inch socket to help unthread the fuel tank mounting bolts. With the bolts removed, set the tank aside. Now use a 9 16th inch socket to help loosen and unthread the steering support mounting bolts. Feed a bungee cord under the brake rod and secure it to the frame to hold the rod in place. Next, use a half inch socket to help unthread the mounting bolts on both sides of the steering plate assembly. Lower the mower deck to its lowest position. Then detach the steering plate. Use a 3 quarter inch socket and an adjustable wrench to loosen and unthread the nut and bolt securing the gear sector to the plate. Remove the plate. Lift off the left bushing if still intact. Now use a half inch wrench and a three quarter inch socket to unthread the mounting nuts securing the left steering link to the gear sector and the pivot. With the nuts and washers removed, detach the old steering link. Install the new steering link by inserting the mounting bolt attached to the longer end of the link through the bottom of the gear sector. Insert the opposite mounting bolt through the bottom of the pivot. Align the washers on the bolts, then thread and tighten the mounting nuts to secure the new link. Make sure both bushings are in place over the nuts securing the links to the gear sector. Insert the mounting bolt through the bottom of the gear sector. Align the washer, then reposition the steering plate. Thread the mounting nut and tighten to secure the assembly. Make sure the wheels are straight. Then reposition the steering plate assembly by aligning the notches with the brake rod bushings. Replace the mounting bolts to secure. Remember to secure the brackets as well.
Remove the bungee cord. Make sure the wheels are straight and the steering wheel is properly positioned. Reposition the steering shaft and support. Then re-thread and tighten the mounting bolts. Reposition the fuel tank. And secure it with the mounting bolts. With the repair completed, lower the hood and your riding mower should be ready for use.